is what's back. See you real soon. <laughs> no, not a fish. Well, yeah. Okay, fish. okay, stop what you're doing and go type in see you real soon and watch all their videos. They had a, a baby. They've been off for a year. Oh, but I was the saying my year. Oh. I finally remembered it. Well, Sarah reminded me, so she used to think. But I have my ears back on, and hopefully we'll just keep them in the car, and I'll just always have them. I used to wear these every single day, every single park, every single day. Even when I was home and not in the you grew in Chicago. Up. No. I know. Then it was just like, I thought I was too cool because I lived here, but I'm going to wear them because I'm not too cool. Right, because before I was like, you were on vacation, you were like, yeah, of course, but now it's like, just every day, but um, you can I, rock them. We apologize for not introing earlier. There was that cool montage you just watched, but we rode the monorail, got here, loved life, the sun was still up, Main Street, Fuel Rod, uh, part of the train. Grand Circle Tour train ride. Now we're in New Fantasy Land. You're up to speed. Welcome to the Brookhart Project. Wait a minute, we're trucking back to go use our fast for Space Mountain. And this wonderful custodian. Hey, Daisy! The Daisy. And then, let me go over here. And she did Donald before Donald fades. And she did Pluto. And she did Mickey. And she did Minnie. These are really good. Look at the eye eyelashes on Minnie. Impressed. Wow. Oh, that wasn't Pluto. That was Goofy. Oh, that was Goofy. Yeah. Look at that. That's incredible. I've never seen more than two characters done at once. I've never seen Daisy. Can we? We should. We should learn how to do that. And then our kids will think we're so cool one day when we just like are bored at our house. Like, let's go in the driveway. Chelsea Yeah, she got certified. You can teach me. Yeah. Chelsea, when you see this, get ready to teach us. Oh, yeah. We're part of Loading Bay Alpha. And if you're not familiar with that wall or this audio, we're about to go on my favorite ride, Space Mountain. There was actually like a line for Fast Pass, but it makes sense because this ride was down for like an hour, hour and a half, so everybody is trying to catch up with their Fast Passes. But, are you so excited? I am. I like this side better. Comment below which side. Alpha or Omega. Mountain. We're on Alpha or Omega is my favorite side. Oh my god. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I'm like, just Alpha So when you're like looking to the left, you like the left? It has more drops. To the right, it's more speed. So I could like see walls, but not see where we were going. It was scary. You're just a shadow. It's super dark in here. Is it always this dark in here? No. Hey, Hannah. It is. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. It wasn't fun in this new Hey, Hannah. This is my favorite part in all of Happily Ever After. And an angle that I don't know if we've ever seen.
We forgot to tell our viewers that we're going on a little vacation. To the two-week-long expedition. Rwanda. Especially Skipper Terra, it's our last day. She just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, um, no one showed up. I mean, I can't see anyone on that beach canoe. Now, this is the African felt. Now, before they headed out into the jungle, they asked me if I had any advice for dealing with rhinos, and I told them this. You don't have to outrun the rhino, you just have to outrun the guy next to you. But they'll get that point in the end. But I'm really just winking at at this point. Come on, I'm glad I landed my job. My career hasn't took off like I thought it would. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Behold, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! together, we cried together, and we barely nearly died together. Some people would say that almost makes us like a family. Aww. However, I am not one of those people. Get out. Okay. Guys, my face actually hurts right now from smiling our entire jungle cruise. Peter is currently tweeting. This was You can hear other people this around was us insane. talking about. Huh? He was so good. He kind of sounded like Olaf. He did, and he was kind of goofy. It was literally the best jungle cruise I do you, do you agree? Yeah. It, it was, was definitely the best jungle cruise we've ever been on. We've been on a thing I can't even count. On it. And it was like he didn't really even throw in any like extra jokes except what was really funny I thought was yeah, this, in this is the, this is the, the top of it. was in the cave he, he said dead man tell no tales and then he quoted Haunted Mansion and then he quoted Small World it was just so good that was like the only extra thing he threw in um, thoroughly so impressed when you experience do this is super important because anybody who works service anywhere in the world or if you work in Disney it's good to get acknowledged so if you ever have experience like that if some, a customer does something nice to you or you have a magical moment or just a good ride and you have Twitter tweet at WDW at WDW today so you put like at or like tell your story about like Skipper Kenny or whatever cast member and then the important part is do hashtag cast, cast compliment. compliment and then they'll get recognized for it it's and so like, nice they'll even print it out and bring it to their management and like the management presents it to them I bet you he gets a lot of them I'm sure and he deserves them. Yeah, he's really good. Well, that's the thing is like when we worked here like the internet was obviously a thing It wasn't that long ago, but like we would get like letters or like it, It's like a little bit extra. It was it took more effort to do it six years ago It's really nice that they do something as like instantaneous as Twitter Yeah. Right Peter, right? Right Good night, Magic Kingdom. To let it be put on the record that I don't agree with this. I'm it, just saying good night. I know, but it feels too much like we're leaving. We would look at, this is what we would do at the end of vacation. We would come down to the end of Main Street, look down Main Street at the castle. And then I would literally goodbye, be like. And then we'd be like crying as we like drag each other away. And like slowly watch the castle get yeah. smaller. And Sarah just now was like, let's go say bye to the castle before we leave. And then I was like, ooh, that doesn't. It feels too creepy. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it deserves a good night, though. We need to do that more often than it used to. <laughs> We're home. Yay! We're going to bed. Mm -hmm. We're. <laughs> Peter didn't wake up early. He did not run today. But here's wow. here's what I'm doing. Because I woke up, here's what happened today. And I could have run after work or tonight, but I didn't. My choice. This morning, when I woke up, I woke up at 4.45 by my 17 alarms through th three different phones. My work phone, my personal phone, and Sarah's phone had like 17 alarms. Woke up at 4.45. But it was raining. Yeah. So I couldn't go running in the rain. We have a gym. I hate running treadmills, but I'm going to give it a try. But this is what I told Sarah. I'm doing tomorrow. We're setting the alarms, and I, if I wake up late, if I wake up early, I'm running. So like, if I wake up and I'm like, oh no, I only have 20 minutes I could run. I'm gonna go run 20. I'll set instead of going a distance, I'll set a time. If I can only run for 20 minutes, I'm gonna set a 10 minute alarm and just run for 10 minutes in one direction, Forrest Gump style, 
until the timer goes off, then I'll come back home. So, it's happening. We're back in business. We're back in business. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.